So when I heard about the spawns on Modern Warfare 3 on Terminal, they finally fixed them from the Modern Warfare 2 spawn trap. I was all excited until this happened. And it makes me wonder, is Infinity Ward really this stupid? Oh, look at that. No, rats. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Multi Kills HD, and as always, I'm back, and I'm bringing you the amazing gameplay. Um, I will be sniping here in just a minute, but before we go into that, I want to talk about one little thing. Um, when this map I seen pop up on the little uh, screen on Twitter, that was a little birdie that came by and said that Infinity Ward had suddenly, suddenly fixed the spawns from NW2's terminal when they put it into the Modern Warfare 3. I was very excited. I was very excited because this map has always been very, very unbalanced with the full team. When I got on and seen that this map was more corrupt than ever, it made me wonder what is really going to happen to this community. Before people start getting 300 and 400 kill gameplays, I'm going to post this video saying it was corrupt from the start. You know, this is the third day, and this is the first time me and my friends have tried spawn trapping on here. A couple of my friends have already gotten 401 gameplay, 401 kill gameplays on this map. You really think that you fix the spawns when people are getting higher scores now than they have ever gotten it on Modern Warfare 2? Highest scores ever that are coming out of NW3. Now, you guys can see, I'm using the Dragon Elf right now. And this was because basically my bear got leveled up to pretty much everything I wanted within 10 minutes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn up the volume just a little bit on the game. And I want to show you just how amazing this spawn is. I mean, honest to God, as you guys can hear in the background, my friend's holding down the trigger with the L86, which they buffed because they said it wasn't strong enough. But now, it is a two-shot. Through a wall, or anything. So, what he does is he just holds down the trigger, and you guys will see the end of the gameplay, and see what his score is. And I really wanted to ask Infinity War on this. Do you really think this game is balanced because you guys tweaked it from the Modern Warfare 2 version? Now... Me and my friends have all said, you know, they're honestly going to patch this. And I'm sure they'll patch it again. Like they said that they patched it the first time. When in reality, they did not patch it. All they did is made it stronger for us. And I'll thank them for that. Thanks for the free XP. I mean, it did boost up my KD quite a bit the first night. Um, I've been doing this for the last three days, guys. And I've gained two prestiges again. So, I mean, honestly... Infinity Ward's just pretty much giving you free kills. Um, you know, they probably got tired of everybody complaining about how, I guess, bad people with Dead Man's Hand and everything get so many kills because of it. So they get awarded all the good players, and now the bad players are getting bad and badder, and badder because, honestly, they can't step out of the spawn anymore. Isn't that ironic? I mean, just listen to that RPD that would have been there. Oh wait, that's not. That's a L86 that was now stronger than the RPD from NW2. Oh man, this game is so ruined now. I mean, just look at this. I put my tack down, I have overkill, and scavenger because I'm going to run out of too many bullets before they're able to get out. Uh, they flip two to three times. Only two to three times. And the only times that they do kill me is from the same guy. And as soon as my team takes this guy out with, uh, you know, several Moabs that they've gotten already... Um, probably over the last 24 hours, I have seen probably two to 350 Moabs go off. Which is pretty ironic, because, you know, they did tweak all the spawns, so no more spawn trapping. They sure did show us. Um, what I want to talk about in this game anyways, guys, before I'm done off this little rage, I guess. I mean, look at this, Moabs for days. Every single Moab that comes in, there's another one going off right after it is I want to talk about the same exact people that keep going around talking about how great they are because of all the Moabs. Moabs mean absolutely nothing. I, I can't even express how much Moabs do not mean to anybody. I mean, everybody in this lobby, including a couple people that we picked up last night that are newcomers in here, such as Darei and a couple other, I guess, more known people, or names that you would typically hear, they were pretty shocked by the first game when the guy got over 100 kills and there was 8 Moabs off the first game. Next game we had 10 Moabs. And then, this game, there was probably, I don't know, 7, 8 Moabs again, it feels like. I mean, every single time I say there's not a Moab there, here comes another Moab, so... 
Honestly, I don't really know what to say. I mean, we're promised all these things by Infinity Ward, but yet, never happens. I mean, they told us that the spawns were going to be fixed. Within 10 minutes of them releasing this map, we had a private match, we put all of our split screeners on, and we found out the new spawns. And really, there's only one little spawn that they do flip now, and that's the one I keep looking at, the one I just looked at there, and that is behind me. But if you have a sniper up top hard scoping down there and your team says that they flip, or I say that they flip because I can see them, then you're back in business. I mean, it's honestly easier than the one that was on MW2. Uh, I don't really want to show you all the spots right now because I'm still going to be abusing this until I get 20th for Siege. Um, I might go ahead and release uh, a tutorial on how to do this currently, maybe in the future. Or maybe in a day or two, uh, depending on how many people watch this video and how many want the tutorial. But I mean, what is this community coming to? I mean, every time we're promised something by Infinity Ward, it's either something that nobody wanted, or it's something that's always over, 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 overpowered. Such as this. I hear that they got flipped. I look up, get both of them, and look. Now they're back in the spawn. And oh look, another Moab. Honestly... To God, did Infinity Ward even test their game? I'm really, really starting to wonder. Because if they actually played the game that they're actually representing when they go on Twitter and tell us that the spawns are actually fixed, I expect them to be fixed. You know, I pay $60 for the game, paid 50 something for the Elite. You know, you would honestly God think that they would actually test their game. But nope, they don't test the game. They just say that they did, and they don't. Um, I mean, this is so typical, because I'm not going to show you the offshore one, because I know nobody's going to be able to get in that one, um, without it, my special team that I'm playing with right now. But that offshore map, Spawn Trap is actually worse than this, actually. But, uh, this map keeps popping up, because, you know, everybody wants to play the terminal in my first game, uh, that they see, because, you know, they give you a free map, but they didn't tell you that you're going to get Spawn Trapped unless you have a full team. You know, it's kind of funny how that works, isn't it? You know, they promise you all this stuff on Elite, and the only reason I think that they actually created Elite is pretty funny, because if you guys remember, the same people that created Elite had the worst hacking situation ever in 2009 through 2011 on the Modern Warfare 2. And the reason I think that that Elite was even created was not because of clans, because, you know, you don't go from five to six Call of Duties without any clans or any, you know, interest in clans. But all of a sudden, you care about clans. Hmm, I'm sure you do. But anyways, the reason that they actually create Elite is to suspend your account if you're boosting. I guarantee it, because here's the easy thing. They showed it when the Prestige token came out. If you had your account linked to Call of Duty Elite, you know, the one that you pay $50 for, then they can see your stats and they instantly ban the people that were doing it. But yet, the people that did not have Call of Duty Elite and did not spend their $50, they got away with it. Because they had no sense of security on those accounts. Because they were not able to pull up anything. But, you know, if you were the customers that supported the game so much. And you paid the extra $50. They could definitely do something. They tell you that you're reset and suspended for two days. Which is pretty ironic. You know, you would think those people that actually paid will not be getting reset. Or, you know, you would just warn everybody that actually paid. But, uh, nope. This is how Infinity Ward works. Um... Honestly, on Black Ops 2, I think that's going to be the last Call of Duty I play. Because, honestly, DayZ is a ton better than this game, personally, I think. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. I mean, listen to the sound on this game and watch the kill feed. There's two people left. These two people, you know, I feel bad for them. But, you know, it's Call of Duty. It happens. As you guys can see, here I go abusing the support. Because, you know, they haven't said that Ballistic Vest are overpowered yet on the Call of Duty website. So... Keep on using them, and oh look, my friend came up to join me. Well, I'll go ahead and let him have it, because I've gotten my uh, fair share of kills this game. So let me ask you guys before I go ahead and finish this game, it looks like it's starting to wrap up finally. Do you really think Call of Duty is going to secede for much longer? Personally, I, I don't really see it going anywhere. I mean, it's always going to be around. But do you think the community is going to be stopping? And the reason I say that is because, you know, they added all the 20 prestige, and I believe that they, <laughs> right there, you ain't Batman, get out of here, kid. But the reason I believe that they had 20th prestige on here is because they had nobody coming back to this game. 
I believe that was the reason that it was created. Everybody was leaving this game to go to other games, and they had no way to draw them back. But now, 20th Prestige is out, and there's not many people coming back. So they keep pulling the double XP every other weekend game, and people don't see that that is overpowered, because now everybody is leveling up way too fast. Right there, I get the kill cam! Man! Is that multi? Kills HD being right there in that kill cam. Oh, that's right. And look at that. 111 kills, 21 assists, and 14 deaths at the top of my team. And everybody on the other team is going negative. So, like I said, I'm multi-kills HD, and I support this message, and I'm out.